Hey everybody, this is a quick video. In case you have a blue sound pulse sub plus and you need to do a factory reset to the factory default settings on it. Now there's one of two reasons you're going to want to do this. The first one is troubleshooting. If you're having any issues with the device not connecting to your, you know, your other devices or if it's not pairing or syncing or if it seems to be not working in any kind of way like that, a hard reset can fix a lot of these issues. Now you're going to need to set it up again, which is the second reason you might want to do this. If for whatever reason you want to get this back to the way it was when it came out of the box, with all its settings and everything like that restored to their default factory configurations, we can go ahead and do this real easily. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by disconnecting the Pulse Sub Plus from the outlet, and then we're going to wait for 30 seconds. Once we do that, we can go ahead and plug it back in, and we're going to look at the LED uh, indicator light on it, and when it turns red, you can go ahead and press and hold the function button, which is the small button beneath the uh, volume up and down buttons. So you're just going to press and hold that button. Um, and the LED will immediately turn green and then red. You'll just continue holding the function button for 30 seconds after that. And after 30 seconds, the LED bl um, light will blink red, at which point you can go ahead and release the button allow it to finish its reset and go ahead and set it up as a new device.